Hey everyone, welcome back to Game Vine. My name is Dave, and we're looking at some Catapult Kingdom extras. If you've been following the videos this week, I've been talking about Catapult Kingdoms a lot, and I've went over everything that has a major part to it. Now again, I got the Kickstarter all-in pledge. Uh, thank you again for Supervious for bumping me up. I did back it myself, though when you do a Kickstarter, you get stretch goals, and stretch goals normally pan out as being extra pieces or extra rolls and mini expansions. So this is going to be basically some parts and mostly many expansions that I got. So I don't know how readily available these are going to be in the future, as well as some of the expansions. I don't know how they're going to release, but I know this is uh, the course that's going to be coming out here in the States relatively soon from Yellow, I believe. It's called Catapult Feuds. Don't quote me on that. But today I'm just going to wrap up my coverage on this game with some of the smaller things that we got in the stretch roll. So let me go down below, show you, tell you what they do, and we'll go from there. So these are the extras that uh, I got. Uh, you may have seen these already. These are the player mats. They extend a little further than the player boards, but they have a line, if you can see it, a faint line where you have to build your castle into. It's just a uh, more durable uh, material, and it's uh, able to house your weapons on each side, too, within the grass, which is really cool. I like that. Uh, if I were to say this is something you have to have, if you have the game, it's really nice, and yeah, I would splurge on this alone. Now, there is a couple expansions, mini expansions. This is the dice expansion at the beginning of the game. Each person gets a dice card in their deck and one of these dice to shoot. Now, they're very rubbery. It kind of feels like the eraser plastic like the beehives, and they easily shoot as well. Um, oh, it was already in there. It was. Okay, so we'll shoot it. Boom. And it has two different faces. Uh, it just like a boulder, if it hits it, knocks stuff down. It, that's what it does. But it can allow you to shoot another boulder, so you reload a boulder and shoot again, or it can boomerang back at you, allowing your opponent to shoot the, a free boulder straight at your face. So that is the dice expansion. Really cool. I love the material. <laughs> Probably some of my favorite dice ever because of how, how bouncy they are. Now you have the stinky fish expansion. So same thing. Everyone will get a card to put in their deck and one stinky fish. Now this is tricky. It bounces and it also has that kind of eraser um, material but if it knocks anything over that's what it does though if it is within two of the little brick spaces near any of the figures well they are removed from the game because oh my it's a stinky fish it's got to be really stinky to knock somebody out so that's uh, a special little thing that you can do with that expansion i like it i think it's cool out of these two here which one do i like the most this is pretty overpowered i like the um the dice more though it's really close do you need either one of these do you need to go seek these out uh, not necessarily i do think they're a great upgrade and a great addition though you don't have to go out and seek these out just to complete your set meaning you shouldn't feel like you're missing out on anything they're cool but not crazy cool um now the royal mode is just these little rings here it now you can put them on one of your five peoples and what they do is they are able to maneuver around a free action you can place them anywhere within legal uh, movement at the beginning of each round anywhere you want now you can also play the variant if your um, royal gets knocked out you can uh, take and put a different royal into the game it's basically moving the royal back in and taking another um, you're out so that the royal is the last one standing and simply that's the expansion just a little more added to the game where you can kind of add more strategy by moving your figures around though not the most important again i do think the mats are the most worthwhile but it's a really close um race between the two dice and the stinky fish mini expansion so super cool i do like it they the, the um new ammo fits relatively easy in the all the weapons so those are the extras 
my thoughts and everything like that so thank you so much for joining me in this catapult kingdoms video if you haven't already please click like and subscribe until the next time that i see you my name is dave have a great rest of your day a great time with all that you play i'm out bye Bye Nation, we love making content here for you on the channel and we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. So subscribe now and help us out. This video right here, I think you'll like. This video right here, YouTube thinks you'll like. Or you can just sit here and watch me dance the dinosaur for a little bit longer. You can visit us at our social media outlets and we're going to be improving our Patreon here soon. That's all for today. Miko, it's time to go. Good girl, Miko.